I didn't know better, I'd think the studio audience is excited, and I think it's very true, and that's for a good reason, because today, back on Tic Tac Go for another session, we have two players. We didn't get a chance to start a game the last time we met at the end of our last show, and right now, Charlie O'Donnell's going to introduce them both to us. Jim Howard, Karen Jambi, and is a stuntwoman who once worked as a talent broker, whose winnings in cash and vibes have totaled $5,650, beats Trisha Brown. And her opponent is a captain in the U.S. Air Force. His interests include music and running, meet Morgan Lightford. Hi, Morgan. Welcome back to the show. The last time we didn't get a chance to do anything, and you're back. Thank you. Ready to go for it, right? Sure. Now, you're in the Air Force. That's right. Fly lots of planes. Mm -hmm. And you, I, I know we, before we mentioned to you that there was another person once on our show in the armed forces. He won right. over three hundred thousand dollars. Sure did. You're ready to go for that again. You're going to try to do that, eh? I'm going to try to make the best of it and um, probably try to beat his record. What do these things mean up here? These are uh, ribbons uh, for various uh, awards and decorations that I've received over uh, the last seven years in the Air Force. Well, terrific. Seven years. I'm sure they're proud to have you as a member of the armed forces. Good luck in the game. Thank you, Morgan. Tricia, welcome back. Oh, thank you, Jim. Our champion, you're ready to go again, I'm sure. Before we get started, though, I, I heard something about you book. You've been known to book talent, a talent booker? Or? Yes, I used to handle a lot of talent. Where? Yeah. I sent a lot of people up to Alaska, among other things. You did? Yeah. <laughs> now, what was the occasion of you sending people to Alaska? Well, at the time, they were building the pipeline, and they were starved for entertainment, and they'd never seen any entertainment like this before. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what an interesting way to go about doing it. Well, terrific. And I know, uh, among other things, you're also a professional stunt person. You really have done a lot of things in your life, haven't you? It's true. One of the things you're going to try to do is win some more money today. Already, you've picked up $5,650. You ready to go? Yes. Let's get started. Now, as I said before, we didn't have the opportunity to get into a game at all when we met you on the last show, so let's take a look at the nine categories you're going to finally have the opportunity to go up against. They are Redhead, Seesaw, Spirit of 76, Pop Music, Classical Music, It's a Dilemma, Maps of State, Number Please, and Action Films. And remember, those red boxes mean that those are special categories, and if we come to one of those, I'll be sure to explain exactly how we play them. So, we're going to start right off. Trisha, you're the champion. Go ahead and begin with a selection. I'll try that middle box again for classical music. All right, center box. You'll have some extra time, Trisha. I'll describe two instruments which are often part of an orchestra, and you name them. Number one, this instrument is similar to a clarinet, but it has a double reed. Its name comes from the French for high wood. Number two, this mellow-toned horn looks like a trumpet that has been bent into a circle. It is named after the country where it is thought to have originated. Here's your extra time. Going for that center box, Trisha. First, you must give me the name of the instrument that's similar to a clarinet but has a double reed. What is it? An oboe? That's right. But in order for you to get that center box, you must give me the answer to this next question. What kind of instrument is a mellow-toned horn that looks like a trumpet and has been bent into a circle? A front horn. You have the center box, Trisha. So we'll put an X right there in that center box. $300 in the box. We've already shuffled Morgan, your first selection of the game. I'll try uh, redheads in the lower right. Okay, redheads it'll be. This talented redhead has directed such hit comedy films as Night Shift and Splash, but is probably best known for his role as Richie Cunningham on the sitcom Happy Days. Name him. Howard. Ron Howard is right. <laughs> All right, Morgan. We'll put an O on the board. Now we have $500 in the pot. We're going to shuffle. Over to you, Trisha. <laughs> But before you make a pick, let's go ahead and take a commercial break. We'll be right back with more of Tic Tac Show in a moment. So you want to play some rock and roll. The first thing you need is a new hairdo. Welcome to Game Show Saturday Night. This week's survey says it's four hours of star-studded family feud. Pucker up for an evening with Richard Dawson and a slew of scintillating stars. Game Show Saturday night tonight from 8 p.m. to midnight Eastern only on Game Show Network. 
All right, we're back, and we're right in the middle of a game. We've already shuffled. Trisha, it's your turn. Go ahead and select, please. Jim, I think I'll take that classical music in the upper right corner there. All right. Listen carefully, Trisha. This American composer not only wrote successful popular songs like I Got Rhythm, but also such classical pieces as Rhapsody in Blue and Porgy and Bess. Name it. George Gershwin. You have the box, Trisha. So next goes on the board, $700 in the pot. We're going to go ahead and shuffle those categories, and Morgan, your turn to select. Okay, I'm down at third of 76 in the bottom left. Okay, listen to this question, Morgan, and you're going for a block. Their hatred of the ruling British king was an important factor in unifying the American colonies before the Revolutionary War. For a block, name that king. Edward. No, King George III. Can't give you that block, Morgan. So, with 700 in the pot, let's shuffle. Christian. Well, I guess I'd better take number, please. Number, please, category. It's a special one. Either one of you might win in this situation. And by that, I mean win the box. Trisha, if you get this box, you'll win your second game of tic tac Doe. Morgan, you're going for a block. Now, listen carefully. An Indian religious figure named Bhagwan Rajneesh who lives in Oregon, is believed to own more new Rolls Royces than anyone else's. Excuse me, than anyone else. How many does he own? Trisha, if you can give me the exact number, you'll win the game automatically. What's your answer, Trisha? 13. Trisha, 13 is not the exact number, but you can still get the box. Morgan, you think the exact number is higher or lower than 13, Remember, a right answer, and you'll have a block. A wrong answer, and Trisha will win the game. What do you think, Morgan? Higher or lower than 13? Higher. Morgan, the exact number is 90. That's higher. You have the block. <laughs> yeah. So, Trisha, you, you selected the category, but Morgan is going to be able to put that O on the board for a block. And now, we're going to shuffle the categories with $900 in the pot. And Morgan, it's your turn. Action films in the bottom center of the wing. Morgan, answer this question, you'll win the game. Now, in this 1985 action film, Jack Nicholson and Kathleen Turner played a husband and wife who were both professional killers and who were hired to bump each other off. For the game, and a grand total of $1,100, name the film. Morgan, Quizzy's on it. Quizzy's on it. That's brand new. It is brand new. Made in 1985. I can't give you that box. Trisha, you were saved on that one. So still, with $900 in the box, we're going to shuffle. Your turn, Trisha. Get your numbers, please. Block him. Okay, we just played this. You know how it goes. The number, please, category, either one of you can win in this situation. Listen carefully. How many people signed the American Declaration of Independence? Now, Tricia, if you can give me the exact number, you'll have the block automatically. What is your answer? Thirteen. Thirteen. That's not the exact number, Tricia, but you can still get the box. Morgan, how many people signed the American Declaration of Independence? Do you think it was higher or lower than thirteen? And remember, if you give me the right answer, you'll win the game and become our new champion. If you're wrong, Tricia has the block. What do you think, higher or lower than thirteen? Higher. Morgan, the exact number is 56. That's higher. You win the game. Congratulations, Thank Morgan. You. Thank you very much. Well, perhaps you being a Air Force pilot and a member of the armed forces, you might have this kind of a question under your belt. 56 people signed the American Declaration of Independence. And because you guessed higher, you just won $1,100. Great. That's what I mean. So, Morgan, you're going to play the bonus game and see if you can defeat the dragon in just a moment. But before we do that, Trisha, you're definitely not going away from our game of Tic Tac Go empty handed. You have won in cash and prizes $5,650. And we wish you all the best, Trisha. Take care of yourself as a stunt person, certainly. And, Morgan, you'll go up against the bonus game and the dragon in just a second, but we'll be back. In just a moment with more of Tic Tac Go. 
panels. Morgan, you're our new champion. $1,100 to your credit. Come on over here, let's play the bonus game. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Here, let's just stand right over there and we'll, we'll see what happens in the bonus game. Now, you've watched the show, haven't you? Sure have. You know, that's right. You know how we play the bonus game. There are various amounts of money. A tick, a tap, and the dragon up there. Behind. The lovely dragon. Now, you want to reach $1,000 or more, or get the tick and the tack, and you'll win this fabulous prize package. What is well, it, Tony? Well, Morgan will surround you with gifts for a pleasant awakening. First, Morgan, you'll wake up in time for your favorite morning show on this modern alarm clock TV. Quasar's unique telephone TV clock radio with five-inch screen, redial, and ringer control on the telephone. Add total clock radio function and application for every room in your house from Quasar. Then wake up and smell the coffee in this lustrous silver service. Land the silver of four-piece lighthouse coffee and tea set with matching serving trays, crafted in heavy quality silver plate and design in old world elegance, furnished by Land the Silver. Next, you'll arise refreshed from a deep sleep on this comfortable mattress. From King Coil, the premium quality posture bond endorsed by the International Chiropractors Association for superb comfort and helpful spine support, furnished by King Coil. And finally, Morgan, when you open your eyes, you'll be surrounded by the splendor of this prize. Worth more than $1,000, this lavish bedroom suite. A five-piece casual contemporary style bedroom with triple dresser and chest. Natural oak graining blended with functional brass pools creates a huge sophistication by Broyhill. This wake-up package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,500. That's exactly what I need. Your Thank eyes you. really lit up on that bedroom suite. Yeah, I sure need one right now. Do you? Yes, I okay, do. Okay, then you're going to be playing with lots of enthusiasm. Now, you know you mm -hmm. want to avoid the dragon at all costs. <laughs> Get the chicken attack, of course, and you'll win the dough automatically. Everything's moved around on the board. Everything's ready to go. Let's see where you're going to go first on the board. Do you want any help from the audience, by the way? Yeah, I got a friend out there. Uh, what do you say? He's saying number three. You going to go okay, it? Yeah, we'll start with number three. Nip all right. right. Let's see what's behind number three. $300. Lucky number three. Gonna keep going or you wanna take the cash and stuff? Well, I'll keep going. I'm gonna keep going. All right, where are you gonna go next? Okay. The girl next to him there looks uh, pretty cute. What's that, six? Okay. The girl I'm next to him is saying six. Yeah, six. Let's see what's there. Behind six. Oh! oh. Dragon. Oh, boy. That's not supposed to happen that way. Well, I didn't know her anyway. Oh, that explains it all. But that's okay. Let's reveal the rest of the board and see where everything was. Yeah, the tick was up number two, the tack behind number nine. All right, so you didn't win the bonus game. But guess what you have won? You've won $1,100, and that's not so bad, right? Now, you're going to run right back and play against another contestant right now. Head on back to the podium. See, that's the good part in the bonus game. You always have the opportunity, even if you hit the dragon, to go play some more tic tac Yo, Let's meet the new contestant right now, Charlie O'Donnell. Well, here she's an operations manager, and her interests include reading and sports, the Darcy Sackstone. Hi, Darcy. Nice to have you on the show today. Tell Thank us you. about your work. Well, basically, I'm in charge of hiring personnel, handling complaints, and just making sure that the office runs smoothly. Well, that sounds like uh, your basic job. you enjoy it? Oh, very much. I understand you're involved with some sports. Yeah, I like volleyball and swimming, and my latest passion is softball. I just joined a co-ed team. Really? What position do you play? Second base. It's, it's great. There's a lot of activity, and I'm pretty good at it, Jim. Well, I once tried playing on a co-ed based uh, softball team, but, you know, I didn't get too many hits because I kept looking at all the women. But, uh, you know, that's neither here nor there at this point. We're going to go to a commercial break, though, right now and be back with Tic Tac Joe. We'll start a new game right after this. Hi folks, I'm Alan Thick, host of all new Three's a Crowd. A different kind of show. All new Three's a Crowd premieres August 20th. We're about ready to start a brand new game of Tic Tac Doe. Morgan and Darcy are the contestants. And let's take a look at the nine categories you're going to be facing. We have Numero Uno, Auction, Game, Astronomy, Pod Facts, Showdown, Faces, Opponent's Choice, and Child Literature. Now, those are the categories you're working with. Morgan, you're the champion. Go ahead and select to start us off. I'm going to start right in the middle with odd facts. All right, you'll have some extra time, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'll describe two odd facts about U.S. presidents. You name those men. Number one, name the only president to serve more than two terms. 
and two, name the only president to serve two non-consecutive terms. Here's your extra time. Morgan, you're going for the important center box. Odd fact is the subject. Name the only president to serve more than two terms. Franklin Roosevelt. That's right. But for you to earn that center box, you must give me the answer to this next question. Name the only president to serve two non-consecutive terms. Grover Cleveland. You've got the center box, Morgan. Right. Uh, so we'll put an X in that center box. $300 in the pot. We're shuffling. And Darcy, your first shot at the board. Where are you going to go? I'd like James up in the upper left-hand corner, please, Jim. Darcy, players in this game use mallets to try to hit a ball through their opponent's goal. The contest is divided into periods called chuckers. Name this game which originated in Asia. <laughs> Polo. Polo's the name of that sport. Lots of horses, lots of action. Can't give you that box, Darcy. So with 300 in the pot, we're going to shuffle and go right back to you, Morgan. Let me try uh, faces in the uh, middle line. Morgan, take a look at this picture. In 1985, this maverick sportsman and multi-millionaire attempted to buy the CBS television network. Name him. Ted Turner. That's right. <laughs> so, Morgan, another X goes on the board. $500 now in the pot. Let's shuffle him up. And Darcy. Auction the box, please, Jim. Okay, first block of the game, critical situ situation, because in the auction category, you both might win the box. You're, of course, going for a block. Morgan, if you win this box, you'll win your second game of tic-tac-toe. Now, listen carefully. A total of six American presidents have been named James. How many of those presidents can you name? Darcy, you've selected the category. The bidding starts with you. I can name two. She says to go for two, Morgan. You want to up that bid? Three. He says three, Darcy. What do you think? I'm in London. All right, Morgan, you have claimed that you can name three of the six American presidents who've been named James, who have been, who had the name James. To do it, and if you do it, you'll win your second game. All right? Ready? Go. Madison? That's one. Two left. Monroe? That's another one. Give me one more president to win the game. You can you won the game! All right. Morgan, congratulations! A nice horizontal tic-tac-toe, all having to do with presidents. Let me tell you who the other three were that you did not name. Carter, Garfield, and Polk round out the list of six American presidents who've been named James. So, Morgan, you just picked up a grand total of $1,800. And that's marvelous. Now, you're going to go up against the dragon here in just a moment. We'll see how well you do in that bonus game. But first, Darcy, we didn't have too much uh, time to get no, to know I you. I really enjoyed myself, though. Well, I sure hope so. I we have some time. nice parting gifts for you. And thank you very much for thank playing Kick That Go. We'll be back with more of the game right after this as we watch Morgan go up against the dragon. What would our tarot readers tell you? Don't let yourself get too involved. Mm -hmm. Well, Morgan, we've run out of time. We can't uh, get into a new game this particular show. We'll wait till next time. But I want to ask you, you know, in that last auction category, you did very well. It seems like you've done well in the categories that involve history. Why would that be? Well, I've read a lot of books. I'm not a big history buff, though, but I have uh, studied quite a bit. Well, you named them off just like that, lickety split. Tell me a little bit more about the Air Force. We've got a little extra time here to kind of hang out and talk. How, how much do you enjoy it? I enjoy it quite a bit. What do you like most about it? I do quite a bit of flying. I've gone a lot of places that I would never have thought I'd have a chance to do uh, in a million years. I've been both uh, towards Europe and also well, out in the Pacific and uh, had really a great time doing it. So you've traveled to Europe and you say the Pacific. You've been to the Far East? Too. That's correct. I've been almost uh, every place that we fly over there. We don't go everywhere, of course, but uh, most of the countries that we do fly into in the Pacific area, I've been to. I guess that's one of the advantages of being in the armed forces, among other things. You do get to Definitely. travel quite a bit, don't Definitely. you? Well, you've already picked up $1,800, and I congratulate you for that. And we'll
see how well you do next time around. I thank you very much for joining us for this edition of Tic Tac Doe. See you later. Everybody has suffered from their fa- Are high. One mistake and Chris retains the championship. So it pays to go slow. Right Play your cards right. I'll try it higher. And you might win the show. Lower than the queen. Yeah. Yeah. On Card Shark, Wild Games, Witty Poetry. Next on Game Show Network. <laughs>